Hey guys, welcome to the 11th video of my series on introduction to pandas and in this video we are going to talk about the group by operation in the pandas library. So it is one of the most important um, operations in the pandas library and that's why we need to understand it thoroughly. So the first thing to understand here is that it is quite similar to the MySQL operation. So the SQL programming language you can say has this particular type of operation, the group by operation. So if you have learned a bit of MySQL, then you might remember that. But now in case of pandas, let us see what it does and how it works. So in the pandas, any group by operation will um, is actually composed of several steps. So first of all, you split the object. So if you just try to do any kind of, let's say group by any particular field, then what happens is that your data frame gets splitted according to that particular field. So let's say you said that um, you have your IMDB data set and you say that I want to group by group my data frame by the genre field. So what will happen is that your complete data frame will be split into multiple groups in which each group will represent a particular genre, which means each group will have all the rows where the genre is a particular value. So you will have a crime group, you will have an adventure group, you will have a drama group and so on. So that is what splitting is all about. So just by doing group by, you are able to split your complete data frame. But then that is not all because that is not giving you any benefit, right? So the interesting thing that happens is after that, which is you apply a function. You can apply different kinds of function over your groups. You can apply uh, any kind of aggregation, any kind of transformation or any kind of filter over your groups. So that is what I will be discussing. And then finally, you combine those results. So applying a function and combining the result, these two things are actually chained together in a uh, in a very simple thing, which is called um, aggregation or transformation or filtration. So these three are the different application or the apply functionalities that we have. So here's a very small example that we can take a look at before we start um, writing the code which is let's say that you have your data frame in which this key represents the indices um, or any kind of column that you have and the data that you have here, right? So let's say you have um, A, B, C, A, B, C written here. So if I just say that I want to group by my data frame with this particular column, which is called key, then what will happen is that you will get three groups here, group one, group two, and group three. Group one, contains only those rows where the value of key is A. Group B is here, which contains only the only those rows where the value of uh, column key is B and then C. So in this way, we have got three groups. And now what we can do is we can do any kind of aggregation, transformation or filtration. Right now in this example, what you are seeing is an aggregation. So what is aggregation is you just try to compute any kind of a summary stat. So for example, here you want to, let's say, find the sum for each group. So you will just aggregate the results from each group. So from this group, you apply the sum function, you get 15. From this group, again, you apply the sum function, you get 30. And here, sum, it gives you 45. So you get the final result like this. You get A, B, C, and the values are 15, 30, 45. So in this way, this complete group by operation is working here, which is doing some kind of aggregation. But other than that, there is something called transformation as well and filtration as well. So we are going to talk about all of them one by one. So let us start by importing the pandas library and our data frame, the good old data set of the top thousand highest rated movies on IMDb. So right now IMDb D underscore DF dot head will show me how my data frame looks like. Okay. So this is how my data frame looks like. So now let's say I want to make my genre groups. So by genre groups, I mean I want to split my complete data frame uh, according to the genre. So imdb underscore df dot group by. So there is a function called group by for each data frame in which you can pass the name of the column by which you want to group by your data frame. So by doing this, I get the genre groups, a genre groups object, uh, a data frame group by object. This is called a data frame group by object. And now let's say you want to just see a particular group. So you can just do get group. So it get group if I pass crime. So I will get all the movies which have the genre set as crime. So this is one of the groups. Similarly, you can pass um, adventure. 
so you will have that group in which only adventure movies are there right so in this way it works and now it's time to move on to the second and the third step which is applying a function combining the results by simply using the group by function you have split the object and now it is turned for the these two operations so now in this case what are we going to do um let's say um, we want to apply an aggregation over our data set our data frame in which we will get the average duration and the average star rating for each particular genre group let us do that so genre groups is this my data frame group by object in which i will just do aggregate function so all the group by objects have an aggregate function in which you have to pass the function which you want to use for aggregation so you can pass sum so let us see what happens with sum look at that i get the genre as the index of my new data frame output data frame and the columns are those columns for which it is feasible to compute the sum so actually in our data set you cannot compute the sum for the title part or the content or the john or the um, actor list you can only find the sum values for the duration and star rating because they contain numeric values that's why we are getting star rating and duration here so what is happening here is that you are getting the total star rating um, sum of the action movies similarly comedy and so on let me make it mean to get a better uh, information so look at that i am getting the mean star rating of action movies adventure movies animation movies and so on and i am getting the mean duration for different kind of movies um now one interesting thing to note here is that uh, we can sort these values as well dot sort underscore value so this is basically sort underscore values is a function for sorting a data frame according to a particular column so let me sort it according to duration so look at that the least duration least mean duration is of the history movies which means that the history movies are usually short animation movies are also short western type movies are usually quite long similarly adventure movies biography and so on and let's say you want to sort the values on the basis of star rating so as we can see the western movies are the best rated then the film noir history mystery and so on thriller movies are the least rated as we can see here right so in this way look at that how easily we are getting this much information we are extracting this much information in a very easier way by just grouping and then aggregating so this is how you do it also if you want to apply um multiple different kind of statistics over a single column then you can do that as well so let's see genre groups duration so here i am selecting one particular column beforehand and then i am applying uh, aggregation in which i am let's say applying multiple functions so let me import numpy as np so i can use numpy functions here so i will be using np dot mean uh, let's say np dot max np dot min np dot mean np dot standard deviation which is yesterday so look at that i get for each genre uh, for the duration column i get the max value of duration minimum value of duration mean value of duration and the standard deviation of the duration for each particular genre so as you can see this right so in this way we can get a very nice summary statistic by using aggregation because aggregation is for getting a summary out of all the groups that you have made so yeah this was all about aggregation and let us quickly move on to the um, last two remaining which are transformation and filtration so transformation and filtration are another two so transformation is like let's say you want to transform a particular column in your um in your data frame by just first splitting into groups and then putting some group specific uh, condition and then solving it so let us see how we can do that so let's say i want to transform the duration of all the movies which have 
I want to uh, transform the duration of all the movies in a group to the mean duration of that group which means that if the mean duration of the action movies is 126.5 then I want to convert the duration of all the movies to be 126.5 so this is kind of a transformation in which I am transforming a particular value so let us have to do that so first of all I want to um, do the change only with the duration and then dot transform in which I will pass the lambda function which will tell me that what I want to do so x here represents a particular group so if I get a group what do I want to do with that particular group values I just want to set the duration to be the mean value of the group so what is happening here is I am just taking a particular group so right now I am having only the duration values of that group because I am working on genre groups duration so here x represents the duration values of any particular group at a time so let's say x represents the duration values of the crime group so x represents all the durations of the crime group then x dot mean will represent the mean duration of the crime group and that will be the value which we will set for each element of um, the crime group so let us see what happens after we do that look at that um, we get something like this so what we are getting right now is the result but and this is a simple column this is a genre groups duration transform so if I just do this genre groups duration equal to this and now okay so let me just do this imdbdf duration so now what I am doing is genre groups duration dot transform will transform um, all the rows of my data frame with some group specific operation so once that will be done and then we will get a combined result now that result will be a new duration column and that is what I am assigning to my original data frame duration column or let me call it average duration avg underscore duration so let me make a new column like this so let us see what happens so look at that average duration so this is a crime movie so its actual duration is 142 but the average duration that we have made a new column contains the average duration of the complete crime group so again it's crime it's this right for action it is 126.48 like this so this is how I have done this right so this is what we call as transformation and this can be used for creating new columns or getting some new kind of data and so on okay so now let us talk about the last type of operation which is left which is called filter so filter can be used to filter out um, any groups from your data frame according to any group specific condition so let's say I have genre groups like this and in my genre groups I just apply the filter condition in which I put a function lambda function here x represents a particular group okay so let us for example consider that x represents a crime group a crime group which means all the rows in which the genre is being set as crime so for that particular group I put a boolean condition here which is let's say x duration dot mean so is less than 120 so what this condition means is that I want to keep only those movies whose mean duration is less than 120 if the mean duration for of the movies for any particular group is greater than 120 then I do not want to have that particular group altogether I want to remove that from my data frame and I want to have my result without those rows so that is what we are going to do so let us run it and let's see so look at that we are starting from 25 25th uh, index which means that a lot of rows have been removed so let me just do dot um, value counts of the genre to get okay so it's genre dot value counts sorry genre dot value counts yeah so you just first select a column and then you apply the value counts function so look at that comedy animation horror mystery I think a lot of um, lot of genres have been removed from it IMDBDF genre dot 
value counts so yeah we had a lot of um, we had a lot of genres here but a lot of them have been removed from it so it is because uh, let's say the drama the drama genre was not satisfying this particular condition of having the mean duration of movies lesser than 120 so that's why that complete group was removed which means that all the remove all the rows which had the genre set as drama were removed from our result and the final result that we get contains only those groups data in which um, we were getting a true value for this particular condition so yeah this is how you apply the filter function so i hope the concept of group by the concept of making groups and then applying different kind of operations like aggregation transformation and filtration is um is now clear so if you still have doubts you can put them in the comment section below that's it from this video thanks for watching